drivers are blamed for snarling traffic in major cities across Europe. In London, hundreds of black cabs tied up commutes in protest over Uber, a U.S. car service that makes it possible for users to hail a taxi through a smartphone app. An Uber spokeswoman tells us the bottom line is that with more transportation options, riders win, drivers win, and cities win. Uber is also making noise on Wall Street. The startup's value was recently packed at $18 billion. Joining us on the line this morning is Mikolaj Piskorowski, professor at Harvard Business School and author of Social Strategy, How We Profit from Social Media. Good morning. And do you think Uber's valuation at $18 billion is too high or too low? My first reaction was uh, it was too much, but then I actually went back and looked at some fundamentals to really try and understand what it would take uh, for them to reach that valuation. And if you think about the average revenue that Uber gets from a single car that's on the road for about six or seven hours every day, they get about $50 uh, dollars from, 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 from that. Um, you multiply it out by a year, you get to about $18,000 that they get in revenue per car per year. And so then you ask yourself a question, so okay, so suppose they have 100,000 cars out there, how much revenue do they make? And that's about $1.8 billion. So, you know, if you think about uh, one, you know, paying $18 billion to get $1.8 billion in revenue, that's a... Um, Quite a reasonable price to pay. Should Uber IPO soon? I think if I were them, I would wait to actually deliver on these results and really prove the business model. The, there is no obvious need for them to IPO just yet because they're actually generating so much revenue that they can fund a lot of the growth themselves. Uh, and through, obviously, um, private investors and VCs. Do you think these protests will affect Uber's valuation? This is one of the biggest threats to uh, the company right now. It's the state and the unions. Uh, because if you think about what, what they're doing is basically, you know, cab driving is a monopoly that was given to cabbies uh, by the cities. And every time you have a monopoly and somebody is trying to take it away from you, the monopolist is going to scream and shout, and, and you see that. Um, but I think in the long term, uh, we will actually see um, this various cities allowing Uber and its competitors. We thank you for your time today. Thank you.